Well, the audience will see that, you know, outwardly he seems like a pretty likeable fella. And that's why before he got busted and went to jail, he probably got by in life. He's, he's got a lot of Brax's charm, I guess, and he's a smart fella. But yeah, there's, there's another reason he's back there and it starts tying in with what happens with Casey and Ruby too. Yeah, there's kind of an agenda there which Casey is suspicious about. Um, he obviously would like to think that he's there just because he loves his boys. Um, and I know Heath would love to think that too, but... And for uh, a while, Casey does think it. He does think it. And, I mean, he although he trusts uh, Brax quite a lot, he still, you know, kind of wants to learn it for himself. And there's just little bits and pieces that, you know, start to hint at that he might be in Summer Bay for a different reason. Yeah, so. Brax knows exactly why he's there, which is why he's so scared, because he knows that what Danny's looking for he can't give him, and that's that puts everyone yeah. in in danger, especially especially yeah, especially Casey. especially and, when um, and, and our mum. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, especially when Casey kind of hears word um, or catches on that uh, Ruby is in danger, uh, her her kind of inheritance money, which she got from Charlie when she died, is obviously you know there for the taking, and she's an easy target. And uh, he puts two and two together, and is is uh, obviously worried for her safety. Hey, Case, you and Ruby are looking pretty close. Yeah, I guess. Oh, come on, mate, don't be coy with me. I mean, look, you're doing well for yourself. Take a look at her, she's tough, smart, good looking. What else could you want? She's a great girl. Mm. You should remember that. Hey, um, didn't she load it up with a bit of cash? Yeah, she got a payout when her mum died. Yeah, it's tough, eh, and the poor kid. You know what, you should step up and uh, make sure that money gets used properly. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. Yeah, that's exactly what I've been thinking. So you got any ideas how we can help her out? Yeah. So that's when he starts playing it. Possibly a bit of a double agent game, you know, where he's... He's obviously playing to Brax that he's, um, he, you know, thinks the dad loves him and all that kind of stuff. But then he's also playing to the dad that, you know, he's uh, he's going to be the good child. You go all James Bond on us. I do, I do, without the gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> it's a surfboard. Just a surfboard. It turns into a machine gun. Yeah. That, you wait till you see that. That's some of the best stuff we've done. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> there goes our budget. Dad isn't the only one who can play games. I'm only sticking close to him because I want to know what his next move is. No, I don't want you doing this. No, someone has to. He and Heath, they had a fight and he will never trust you. I'm the only one who can do this. It's too dangerous. Yeah. I know that. But making him think I'm his friend, that is the only way we can stay one step ahead. Mate, if he sees through no, you... he you... won't. He won't. You need to trust me. No, you got no idea who you're dealing with here. Maybe not. But I don't see that we've got a choice. No, oh, it's just an excuse. She's such a contemptuous <laughs> old bag. No one likes her. Such a character. He just puts her in a cab and tells him, <laughs> just says, drive out of town, mate. Puts later. a muzzle on her <laughs> to <laughs> shut her up. <laughs> no, um, he knows the relationship that um, that Danny's had with their mum. And they've witnessed, you know, it's it's a good storyline because they've witnessed a lot of horrible things, or well, Brax has, of domestic violence and all these things that personally make my blood boil. He's seen his dad, um, you know, take things out on his mum and on Heath and it, not so much on, on Brax, he was a bit older but so he, he knows what's happened before he went to jail and he just wants to get the mother out of there mainly because she's got part of what Danny's specifically looking for or yeah. she had it and uh, it's not safe for her to be there so Brax gets her out of town she couldn't do anything when she was here though, she never cooked nah, just spent everything on the pokies yeah. yeah, she didn't cook, she was an average cleaner she could didn't keep really us. have anything going for. I she don't know could what keep us in line though. Yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah. Susie's great. Though. Must have been, been the conversation. Yep. Yeah. It's probably got the best name of the boys. Daryl. Daryl. 
Um, and the biggest head. Yeah, the biggest bull head. <laughs> if at the very least, if you're ever in a gunfight, the rest <laughs> just... of the boys could shield their bodies with my <laughs> head. Behind the head. Just be like a human <laughs> shield. Um, yeah, he's he's the best bloke to lead because um, I don't know. He's been he's been what we're shooting at the moment is some exciting stuff as well. You're seeing how. Brax became Brax, yeah. you know, other than the influences of, of his, his dad and, and the like. But, um, yeah, he's, he's sort of uh, had to become a, a father figure and he's obviously smart enough to do it. He's got enough sort of charisma and, and social skills to get on with people in, in Summer Bay, which is probably not, <laughs> not the kind of place you'd think would welcome someone with his reputation, but they have. And, you know, he wants... The thing since we started on the show, he's always wanted Casey to to get away from the way our family's been, and he knows he's got the brain for it. And you know, he's doing okay with the girls as well, so he knows he's got the look. He's got everything. He's got, everything. He's got the package. <laughs> Don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's likable. Yeah, but also you'll see coming up that um, that kind of cool facade which Brax always has, it, uh, it begins to kind of whittle away and you start to see a less, um, a less uh, kind of... You see the fear in his eyes. There's a, yeah. a, a scene when, when Danny walks in the bar and, yeah, it's the one bloke that really frightens the hell out of him because mm. he, knows, he knows what he's capable of. It would be... Like, yeah, it's, you know, worst nightmare is a bit of a cliche, but it is for, for Brax. And he's the only one that knows it. He's trying to convince this bloke. Heath can't comprehend it because he's probably not. It's <laughs> in the gym. Yeah, he's in the gym. Yeah, Heath's got legitimate reasons for know, for wanting to know him. And um, he wants to, he's got questions that he wants to ask about being a father and and he wants to know why their dad was the way he was. So it's good. It's it's really the the relationship between Heath and and Danny's really interesting. But it's we've all got these different relationships, and the one that happens with with Casey is the one that will keep you um, on the edge of your seat. It's pretty full on. Yeah, it's good. It's exciting. Yeah, it's good.